What is up Toxins? Tyler back with another video today and this is a Minecraft video and uh, this I kind of stole from another YouTuber but um, I just wanted to show something off and that is this um, seed and also you can put chain instead of the beacon light um, this is where you spawn. A lot of other YouTubers I've seen use the same setup, and I thought it was a pretty good setup. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of lot to look at today on this map, and then even on a different map, something I thought was pretty rare. And uh, I have a different skin and a cape, and apparently this is bedrock edition now. Um, you might see the pillars, uh, also other people also use that, but um, if you like Minecraft and you're watching this, you know there's the nether update. Well, this update is really something special. Adds to the, adds a few biomes to the nether, and um, if we just go ahead and look at the seed that I'm currently on, the load. That is the seed. One four one five nine two zero three one three. What I uh, typed in to get that, I will, I don't remember. Uh, it was some gibberish, basically. Um, I should have wrote it down. Either way, that's the seed, and if you notice, pumpkins right behind you. I spawned in looking this way, You, I don't know if it transfers over. You spawn in looking at the village, pretty much, and there's pumpkins behind you. As you can see, there's the, you know, jack-o'-lantern, but these are just regular pumpkins. They spawn everywhere on this map, or on this seed. There's some over there, there's some everywhere. There's even some in this village. Um, what I'll get to next is that there is diamonds right here. There's only two of them, though. Um, not the only diamonds uh, on the seed that are visible. Here are some, uh, here's one emerald. Surprised I remembered that, honestly. And there's a giant slime. I think that's actually one smaller than the biggest. I didn't know they could spawn this high. Um, we'll, uh, we'll just look over here. There's the column to the other emerald. Here's the other pumpkin patch that I th uh, thought was noticeable. This is the honey block, and what it represents is a honey hole. And a honey hole is somewhere that you might like to build. Because there's this, you could have a walled off little village and you don't even have to build the wall because the walls are already all around you. You just have to dig the mountain away if you felt like it. Or have some of the village on the plateau. You know, if you're playing with your friends, you can have some of them up here and some of them down there. And you, all you have to do, really do from here is finish this wall or dig it out here and have something underground thing and then here's the exit and you can dig this out also and have it go straight through there and there's a zombie villager randomly and another one I'm just gonna I forgot to set the time today okay there we go just random sand block just floating there I probably dropped that, honestly. Okay, let's get into this village that you see from spawn. I don't know if these chests are randomized, but here's the, here's the, uh, it doesn't have a blacksmith, but it does have these, like, smithing table things right here. I don't know what's up with that. And it's got an iron golem, I think. There's two, but I'm not sure. Um... Oh, never mind. 
go to a different place way over there and right from spawn literally just like maybe 50 blocks there is one of these portals like um, with the crying obsidian and stuff uh, Apparently you have to replace the crying obsidian. I thought it was going to be different, but there's one obsidian in here a clock Let's see Protection two thorns one glistening glistening watermelon and some golden nuggets um, That's gonna be helpful and uh, Yeah off but um, First we gotta get into the other stuff that's on this map uh, I think we go this way. Yeah, what's here? Oh, right over here, not even too far from spawn. That goes straight down oh. into, that's chains for whatever that is. Follow the campfires into this other ravine. Um, yeah, follow the campfires. And here is, um, a zombie spawner with some semi good loot, I guess. Chains, you know. Okay, I'm not sure if it, the chains really make that much sense for mob spawner. I could just like done a mob spawner, I think. Oh, and this is pretty rare a tree in a ravine. I think that's rare. I'm not sure. Um, we'll be getting to the rarest thing that I've seen on this seed, which isn't actually on this map, it's on this map. And we'll be going there pretty soon. You might know from other maps what that thing like towards the middle, top left middle is. And you can tell that there's a village right next to it. We'll get into that later. Um, there's some more pumpkins as you can see. I think we just go this way to get to our next thing. It's just a random little sandy lake over there. I think this is another honey hole. Let's see here. Yeah, here's another honey hole type thing. You might want to build here, like in that cave. Um, oh, and that other honey hole has caves underneath it for you to explore. Like, you might want to build here, you might want to do something with these floating islands. I don't know. I don't really like floating islands. I like to like build um, columns holding them up. Yeah, I think that's more fun than just leaving them floating. Um, here's some more pumpkins. Or I think there's just two there and I thought that was kind of odd. I think that's what that was. Here's another place you might like to build at, um, doesn't bother me either way, you know, if you want to build there, you build there. There's nothing else, ooh, waterfall, but that's on the other side of that, like, possibly honey hole type thing. I might come up with a better name for places you might like to build at. There's more diamonds over there, but I'm doing this in kind of a line thing down the map. Uh, I'll be back to the next thing, I think. Probably. I'll show where it is on the map. Other than that, there's this, like, lake in the mountains. It's kind of nice. Check coordinates for wh where you see it. It's right by spawn. The, the diamonds. This guy. Actually, honey plus diamonds plus emeralds means abandoned village. I don't know why. But uh, that's what I chose to, to mean. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. There we go. Diamond horse armor in this abandoned village. I just now checked that chest. That is genuine surprise that you are hearing out of my mouth. Ooh, another honey hole. I, I, I have ADHD. Leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, this one was really nice, I thought. Right? It's kind of like the other one over that way. Um, yeah. I think, also, I think this is a dying spruce tree. Oh, and another one. And another one. That's probably rare to find three in a line. 
If you didn't know the dying ones have vines on them, yeah, it's probably not very noticeable for anybody, for anybody else. Okay, so that branches off because this ravine has a weird shape and it's split by this lake. And also, I thought it was pretty rare that this, that ravine goes on through from, it goes under the lake also. Okay. Which is pretty nice. Anyways, it goes uh, that way and another one cuts this way, which is probably... Um, okay, so you gotta follow the camp first, no, no, you gotta follow down here, and right over here we have the other set of diamonds, check the coordinates on the screen, top left, if uh, you gotta go back at any point in the video, go ahead and do that, looks like there are four, there's five here, so all together you get about seven diamonds, and some free diamond horse armor if they're not randomized yet. I think the enchantments on books and stuff are, but not the, um, one thing, uh, the, uh, objects you find in them. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. I think I'm wanting to go this way a second, for a second. Um, yeah, I guess I didn't want to go this way. I think there is something out in the ocean I wanted to uh, show you guys, but, uh, my chunks have trouble loading in if I'm flying around. Also, it's loading in now. I feel like if you've been there, it should, like, hold a bit of resonance in your map. I don't know. I don't even know what I really just said just now. Oh well. That's a nice little cave to explore. I wonder if anybody could find some diamonds in there. I don't know. And then I can't I can't explore every single one of the uh um caves. Oh also this is what I wanted to show you. These normally spawn in caves and they're like a circular room. This one's above ground, so I'm thinking that if this is lower down, this would have came up, 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 and, like, led into this, which, this is a nice spot to build, and it's right next to a pillager outpost, that's why we skipped the village, um, it has a iron golem, which, if you set free, and here's what's in here, let me just set the time, and there we go. And the weather, because I'm having the worst luck right now. I think I forgot to change some settings. Is this a honey hole? Oh, here's another one of those round rooms. And check coordinates for both of those. Go back in the video, whatever you want to do. Um, let's see. There's the abandoned village. And over here is the village that we completely skipped over on purpose. Yeah. Maybe I just thought there was a little bit more to check out. I don't know. Also, there's some campfires, like, stacked on top of each other, and I couldn't find them. Going back and forth. I'm gonna look for it for a second or two, but I think it was just like a nice place to build and I changed what I was doing at the last second. Anyways, there is something down there because the blue flames signify importance. Because I like the blue flame ones, of course. I don't think there's blacksmiths in this village either. It kind of sucks. It's, so there's not that, you know, that chest, but there is other chests that I haven't looked at. Um, some clay and brown terracotta. Let me just look at a random chest right quick. I'll be back when I find one. Arrows. Haven't found a chest yet. I think there's one in here. Barrel. I don't know why you don't find anything in the barrels. 
There's a booty chest in this one. Right? No, there's just this thing, which is actually for upgrading gear from diamond to netherite, if you didn't know that already. I'm sure you've seen other videos by now. But if you haven't, now you know. <laughs> okay. Um, this is where we're supposed to follow the campfires, because there's four around it. And if we jump in, there is something. It's also, like, it goes further, but it just goes to there. <laughs> you know, something can spawn in there. Anyways, let's go on down, and there is one of these. Now, I just forgot what it's called. Uh, and these stairs lead to nowhere, so, yeah. I think this is a dungeon. I don't know. But, it, there isn't much to this place. Like, there might be, like, a, an abandoned mine shaft randomly over here. No. Uh, I haven't actually found an abandoned mine shaft on this map, or on this seed yet. I was just hoping that I would find one. Did I stop spawning these without the iron doors? Or, I mean, start spawning... I don't know. I went a while without playing. Anyways, follow the campfires to the end portal. Right over here. So it's basically just go straight and turn left and zero eyes of ender. You guessed it. Um, and there's a random mushroom in here. Odd. Also, if you put them on half slabs, the campfires float above the half slab. It's basically a half slab, but I don't think like different types of slabs can stack on each other. I think they like remove that. They added it just to remove it. That doesn't make much sense to me if you if I'm being honest. Okay. Let's get out of here and I'm gonna look for those campfires that are stacked. And I'll be back if I find those or if I don't find those. Might be in the top right corner. I don't know. Be back. Oh. There they are. Um, here they are on the map. I don't know how I lost them. Oh! The campfire surfer in above ground tunnel. I explored a little bit of it, it's kind of nice, but, uh, not really. This kind of just ends here, and there's a bunch of gravel that you might die to. So, uh, be careful of that. Okay, now I'm going to head back to spawn, and I'll be right back. And we're back at spawn, with the chains inside. Also, you can't go through chains, but they don't hold, like, they're not that big of a block. I like iron bars, but in a one-by-one not connected to each other. Anyways, we gotta head this way now. There's two more honey holes over here. Uh, I don't know why they're separate from each other. I could have showed this one. Be like, yeah, you could build like a big mountain. Ma mountain. That's what you call a mansion that's in a mountain. Built into a mountain. Yeah. yeah I just made that up. Anyways, you could like have a mansion built in a mountain right here. Which... Um, if you're playing on solo, it might be something that you would want to do for a video. I think I'm going to do a survival series on this. Just because, um, it's updated and stuff. And things. Yeah, that's all, <laughs> that's all I really wanted to say. And here's the other thing. You could build, like, a house that's built into a mountain and uh, like false supports I guess would be kind of cool I'm going to change the weather again also the leaves on trees go white when it snows you might not have noticed that um, before I think we head out this way kind of followed this path in, so I'm going to head this way, and uh, when I get there, uh, just check coordinates. Also, my map is glitching out. I'm in the middle of the map, 
but I'm completely off the map. And moving forward and in circles and stuff does nothing. Anyways, here's a ice village, or snow village. Um, they might have a blacksmith, I don't know. I didn't find this earlier, so I mean, check your coordinates now. <laughs> Because this one is actually not rare. Because I was on a different map and I felt like a hundred of them in one snow biome. Um, but I obviously went a different way than what I was supposed to do. I don't know. I'm going to try and find my way back. And if I can't find my way back, that's the end of this video. So go ahead and like and subscribe now and check and see if that's the end of this video. Okay, I just found an abandoned mine shaft with a floating minecart rail. Actually a few floating. But yeah, check the coordinates if you want to try and find it, and you like to fight spiders. Uh, how do I get down in here again? Might just dig myself up again. Okay, I'm digging myself back up because I get lost easy. Hey, just remember that there's such a thing as a compass. I just looked this way a little bit and found it. I don't know. I'm awful at finding myself a way to get somewhere. Or the snow thing. The snow biome. <coughs> but I also went into it and found something. I a ravine. Maybe if I sit here a second. I don't know. Oh, there's a village that's been split by a ravine. And check the coordinates now. Should have checked the coordinates when I was out there doing the things. Um, it's saying that I'm on the map. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Well, here's proof that one of these can spawn in an ice biome, or snow biome. Um, is this the village that I found, or is this a completely different village? I don't even know anymore. I put a pillar in that village. I went like straight by the edge of the snow biome. So maybe if I can find the edge again. I don't know. Hopefully there's not like two snow biomes right next to each other. Let's see here. That wraps around into there. Maybe I've just lost one. Oh, here we go. Here is one of the most incomplete ones of these. And it was right by... Here we go. Now we're coming to it. Oh, here's just another village with some, with an arrow. Okay. Now, where was, and over here, I think, 
Lucas, where is he? What I was trying to show you was that the uh, M portal second. Oh, here we go. <laughs> as soon as I start talking about about it, it shows up on my screen. So I have to follow that a weird way over that way. Okay, got it. There's also a weird island over there. Small, tiny. Um, here is this another one. They've all got loot in them. Kind of diamond. This one has a bell in it though, which I thought was kind of weird. Projectile protection three, and also projectile protection three. That's kind of nice. Now, if I can find that village again, I can go straight back over to the other thing, and maybe go from there. Okay, there's that. There's that. I went into the snow village just a little ways. Um, make sure to keep an eye on the, on the uh, position, on the coordinates, because, yeah, I was doing a bad job of that, apparently. Uh, no diamonds down in here, it doesn't look like there is any, anyway. Let's see. I think I keep going this way. Yeah, because that's there. It's not the closest to there, but it is there. Okay, that's not it. Okay. This is like, oh, there it is. I went the wrong way. That is on me by a long shot. I don't even know where the other end portal I found was, because I just went right past it. Yeah, you can see, like, you can tell that something's up here, you know, Earth wants to, um, do that to me, I guess, I don't know. Okay, we put it at sunrise, I don't know why I did that. Day. There we go. Now, the target means that there's one of these things. But, right next to one of these things, um, one of these, oh, one. these pillagers are getting on my nerves. There's a bunch stuck in this villager house. Or some bread and leather armor. Oh, and two cauldrons. Nice. Um, yeah, we'll get into the villager house nonsense in just a second. Aqua Affinity 1. It might be worth it for some people. Also, the crossbow is worth it for me. And they forgot their targets over here. But, as you can see, there's villager houses. Well, that's kind of weird. You'd think maybe... Uh, that wouldn't exist, but in this seed it does, uh, and there's filters, completely intact. Sadly, I feel like, um, like this isn't a blacksmith either, is it? I don't know. Might be. Um, but I feel like these villages should have a clear defined blacksmith, because it seems like they're that one, basically. But this is the map that we're on now. As you can see, I'm actually moving like a normal cursor. Um, apparently spawn is that way. So I guess I went a different way than I originally thought. Also, I think I cut across this because there's a another um I think I've been saying in portal the whole time. There's another village over here with another portal near it. I think I've been 
saying end portal the whole time. So someone count that for me. I'm very interested to know how many times I said end portal instead of nether portal. And if I didn't, you're not even hearing this. And if I did say it, then you're hearing me say this anyway. Anyways, by this village, there. Oh, there it is. Seed. Uh, more power to you if you can take them all out. And I'd love to see someone dismantle all of them if someone does videos and wants to do this one, the seed, and plays Minecraft, you know, all that stuff. Please just dismantle all of these and, like, send me a link in this video um, in the comments. Also, there's two gold blocks here for this one. And the chest is over here. And it's got a golden sword with unbreaking one and knockback one. That is garbage. Projectile protection four and unbreaking three. That's pretty good, I think. I don't know. It's all gold stuff, so it's not going to last long anyway. Also, there's two obsidian in here and a couple by it. I did not put the pillar on the portal this time around because of the way it looked. I also didn't put on a different one because of the way it looked. And I think we saw that one also. Anyways, I'm definitely going to be following my own coordinates to find the places that I enjoy going to on this seed. Also, there's a floating island that is disturbingly high above the ground over here. It also looks like it should be there. No, it's flatter than that area. I forget I said that. Also, I didn't even notice that right next to the snowy biome there's a desert and a mesa. And it seems like for me the mesas love to spawn next to the deserts. If I had noticed this, I would have went into finding desert temples, but also this video would have been way longer than it's supposed to be. It already is way longer than it's supposed to be because I got lost. Yeah, I get lost easily. There's a lot of this video you didn't see because I was lost. I might like throw in some like tidbits. Oh, here's a desert temple. Let's show the coordinates of that right quick. And uh, I think I'm going to end this video here because I'm very like frustrated right now. Anyways, pay attention to the coordinates. Oh gosh. You know what? I'm I want to come here and destroy the whole thing because it's on position 666 60 negative 2198. Or I'll just like stay one block this way the whole time. The whole time, I guess. Um I don't know. I'm gonna look at this mesa and then that's the end of this video. I wanna see if there's a village in it. So there's that ravine. I love the mesa villages. More pumpkin patches. I don't know what it is about the seed and pumpkin patches. Like you could live off the pumpkins that you just find. <coughs> Okay, it seems like it just ends over here, so, yeah, nothing too good. I do like to, the wood that these offer, so I'm definitely going to be coming here in my survival series just to get the trees that I want, and then take them back with me. <laughs> Alright, well, that's the end of this video, everyone. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and if you are old... Um, already subscribed, hit the bell notification, turn on all notifications, and um, leave a comment down below if you want to see more of these seed videos. I'm going to plan those out better next time. Yeah. Anyways, goodbye. I think I was genuinely excited like half the time. Uh, I'm just rambling. Bye-bye.